This is Dwayne Crookshank, the rock star marketer, coming to you live, beautiful Viva Las Vegas. I'm over here with my man, Larry Beecham, the LinkedIn king, AKA the cable guy. <laughs> this man has actually truly, truly been an inspiration to many of us that are out there. Uh, he's been in exactly the same shoes that a lot of you guys were in. He was uh, at a point where his life was just at a point of desperation, he was struggling. And uh, Larry, what, what would you tell the folks at home that are in this situation there? They're, they're, they're struggling in their businesses, their, their houses are on the line, their, their, their families are at the brink of just destruction. They, they feel like there's no way out. What would you tell people right now that are in this situation in terms of this business and how this could affect your life? Well, most people take that situation and it becomes a reason for not trying to get out. They'll focus a lot on, I'm down and out, my bills, I can't pay my bills, I can't get ahead, and then they, they buckle under that pressure. But honestly, that's really what you need as fuel. Opportunity rarely comes along when all the roads are paved, the sun is out, all the lights are green. Opportunity Everything normally- is perfect. Right, opportunity normally comes at the worst possible time, hmm. usually. You ask anybody that's ever achieved at a high level, it's, it's in the heart of the struggle, it's in the eye of the storm is when they've actually been able to get their greatest victory. Okay. Because that's when the true strength that's inside will be pulled upon. Now you make a choice. You can either buckle under the pressure and use it as a reason, or you can do what I did and, and do, well let me say a better thing just came to my mind. Lance Armstrong had cancer and he said this in his book. He said, this cancer picked the wrong damn body. Hmm. That's pretty strong. Now, most people with cancer, with a diagnosis of cancer, will basically Fucking resign themselves to death. They'll just wait it out until they die. But okay. Lance Armstrong did the opposite because he's a true champion. So you have to look at your circumstances in much the same way as, as Lance Armstrong looked at his cancer because okay. you and I have our own cancers. It may not be a literal cancer a in our personal, body, but it could be struggles. something going on. And you gotta take that resolute attitude that I'm not gonna buckle and die under this pressure. I'm actually gonna use it as my reason and my fuel. Hmm. So when you have that desire at that level, then the next level up to that is discipline. You gotta discipline yourself to do the daily things necessary to get the result that you're hmm. after. That's where the rubber meets the road. That's where most people die to fall by the wayside. Okay. They're not disciplined. They will not get up every single day and do something to get themselves closer. Okay. And a lot of it is because they don't see instantaneous results. They don't see pop, 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 pop. I don't see, I don't see it happening. So you mean it didn't happen for you overnight? Uh, unfortunately, no, it did not. Okay. It took a while. Okay. But I recognize that all true winners in life work really, really hard. Michael Jordan talked about, there's a commercial that I love, you're talking about, um, I forget exact how he said it, but he, he was talking to some guy who says, I know I made it look easy. Basically, he said, you didn't see me struggling. You didn't see the nights that I was on the court working, 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 night working, working. Night, right. Night night. right. So that's what people don't see. All they typically see is the end result. Is the end result and then they want to glory in the end result and wanting it, but they never really understand the hell you take yourself through to get there. You, I, there's a guy, a, a major network marketer that said, I did not know how much changing I had to go through to become me. Hmm. And most people never know how much they got to grow and change to become who they want to be ultimately to get to success. You know, that's, incredible. that's incredible that you actually say that because most of the time, people that are in exactly that situation, they're focused more on the, on the how-tos. Right. What exactly do I need to do? What, what new programs do I need to learn? Okay, Larry Beecham is doing LinkedIn. Okay, David Wood is doing article content marketing. Okay, this person is doing video marketing. This person's on the blog. I'm trying to learn it all. And you didn't touch on any of that. Because it's, you, you, there's, a th there's a whole bunch of experts, there's a whole bunch of functional things that a person can do, but, uh, but when it rubber meets the road at the end of the day, you gotta make a decision that Absolutely. I'm gonna get it done. And you gotta develop whatever you gotta develop in, inside. inside. You gotta get rid of the self-esteem problems, you gotta okay. get rid of the discouragement, the disappointments of the past. You gotta stop judging and measuring yourself against somebody else. When I got on the internet, I didn't care who had been on the internet before me. I didn't care what kind of success. As a matter of fact, it a didn't lot make of those a people- in your, in, your, in your family situation at all. A lot of those people that were on before me, I've gone past because I didn't worry about all of that. I never think about that stuff. Okay. And I realize that's me, but I think it's a resolute attitude of most champions. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter who came before me. That's what absolutely. matters is what I'm capable of doing in this right dispensation now. of time, and I'm gonna do it because I'm capable of doing it. <laughs> and however long it takes me to do it, I'm gonna stay the course until I get it done. I'm gonna make the rain come, as long if I dance long enough, the rain will come, and I, I know that. that. I feel that. I feel that, and I appreciate that. You know, that was actually something that was uh, mentioned to me yesterday uh, by David Schwinn. He said, "I'm in this until." Right. I'm in this business until. Right. And it's crazy because that's actually something that I talk to people about constantly: your mindset. 
focusing on exactly what you need to do in a daily action of beating on your craft. Day in, day out, day in, day out. Just master your mind and you'll absolutely accomplish the results. Yep. Now this man has also been incredible, incredible, Mr. Beecham has been incredible using LinkedIn. What would you say is the, the the one killer secret you'd say to, to LinkedIn and, and mastering social media? Because I know a lot of people in our business, they like to just go out there and show up and throw up on people. <laughs> they, they, join my business, join my business. You gotta, what business you, you wanna join my business? You wanna, and it doesn't work like that. What would you say is your secret to being successful on LinkedIn? Well, on LinkedIn specifically, you gotta understand the, the, uh, the community of LinkedIn. It's okay. professional people. LinkedIn is dominated by four to 500 professionals. It's okay. not Facebook. If you come to Facebook, or you come to LinkedIn with your Facebook brain, so to speak, you, won't, you won't last. So you gotta understand your target market. You gotta understand the, the, dime, the, the mentality of who you're trying to speak to. So once you understand that, then you can speak the language that they will re be receptive to. I, I say the one thing that really has accelerated my growth with LinkedIn is the recommendations piece. Because okay. in my book, I talk about getting three to five recommendations right away. I've got more than 30 now. So when hmm. someone hits my LinkedIn profile and they see all of those recommendations from people, CEOs of companies and stuff, you, it, it, it's a transfer of credibility because yes. it's not you professing yourself, it's somebody it's else people, talking about Third party validation. It. So I would say that right away on LinkedIn, that is a key ingredient to you being able to have a presence on LinkedIn that's a respectable presence. Because on LinkedIn, there is no room for pictures and videos and goofy stuff. It's, it's resumes, recommendations, credentials. So you have to show up ready to show and prove. Yeah, and, and that's easy to get typically when you find a few people that have some good things to say about you, just okay. start there get three to five legitimate, genuine recommendations and okay. that'll get you started. Well, I appreciate that. Okay. And you know, I, if, you didn't, if, if you didn't pick up on what this man had said, just one quick question actually. When did you get started online marketing? March 5th of 2009. March 5th of 2009. And what is today's date? October 2nd of uh, 2010. So October 2nd, you went from Larry Beecham, the cable guy, <laughs> who was struggling in his particular situation, to Larry Beecham, Top runner in his company, L4 leader in MLSP, an author, and I don't know if you picked that up, an author of his own book, and producing his own product. So this man is truly what success is when you put yourself to a goal and absolutely committed, burning off all other roads of retreat. Find exactly what it is that you want to do. Focus on that. And I want to let you know right now, we have a community that is actually training people on exactly what to do and how to do it and how to be successful at what you do. And I'd love for you to put your name somewhere on this page. There's a spot for your name, your email address, your phone number. Put it there. You'll find a spot on the, on the inside that you're actually able to have access to my schedule schedule a time and an appointment to actually sit down, talk to me for about 15 minutes, and I'll be very upfront with you right now, I charge $150 an hour for my time. So 15 minutes is about $37 or so, and I'm gonna give it to your favorite four letter word, free. We'll assess where you are with your business and see exactly what we need to do to help you to make that connection, the same way that Mr. Beecham has done, to put yourself in exactly the goals that you want. So I'd just like to take this opportunity, Larry, Thank you so much for your no time. Problem. No problem. Really, really appreciate it. All right. This man is killing it online. You deserve to be alongside somebody like him. You deserve to have your business to be successful. This is Dwayne Crookshank, the rock star, signing off. And in the words of my man, Cedric Harris, see, I'll see you, you at the, the bank, bank, baby.